Good morning children. Hope all of you have studied the previous topic. Today we will discuss about the population change, population composition and the age sex pyramid or population pyramid. Children, what is population change? The population change refers to change in the number of people during a specific time. The world population has increased. This is actually due to changes in the number of birth and death. The main reason for this growth was that with better food supplies and medicine, deaths were reducing while the number of births still remain fairly high. Births and deaths are the natural causes of population change. Births are usually measured using the birth rate, that is the number of live births per thousand people. Deaths are usually measured using the death rate, that is the number of deaths per thousand people. The difference between the birth rate and the death rate of a country is called the natural growth rate. The population increase in the world mainly due to rapid increase in natural growth rate. Migration is another way by which population size changes. People may move within a country or between countries. Immigrants are people who leave a country, while immigrants are those who arrive in a country. Next, we will discuss about the population composition. To understand the role of people as a resource, we need to know more about their qualities. People vary greatly in their age, sex, literacy level, health condition, occupation and income level. Population composition refers to the structure of the population. The population composition of a country is studied through population pyramid. What is population pyramid? Let's discuss. Population pyramid is also called the age sex pyramid. The shape of the population pyramid tells the story of the people living in that particular country. The numbers of children below 15 years are shown at the bottom and reflect the level of births. The size of at the top shows the numbers of aged people above 65 years. It also tells us how many dependents are there in a country. There are two groups of dependents. Young dependents, they are aged below 15 years. And elderly dependents, they are aged over 65 years. In between, there is working age group. They are the economically active people. Now, Let's check the population pyramid of various countries. See the population pyramid of Kenya. Here we can see the birth rate and death rates both are high because it is broad at the base and rapidly narrows towards the top. This is because although many children are born, a large percent of them die in their infancy. Hence, relatively few become adults and there are very few old people. Now, see the population pyramid of India. In the case of India, death rates especially amongst the very young are decreasing. Therefore, the pyramid is broad in the younger age group because more infants survive to adulthood. While countries like Japan, low birth rates make the pyramid narrow at the base. Decreased death rate allow numbers of people to reach old age. The important fact is that skilled 
spirited and hopeful young people endowed with a positive outlook are the future of any nation. We in India are fortunate to have such a resource. They must be educated and provide skill and opportunities to become able and productive. So, human resource is the most important resource that determines the development of the country. Let me conclude today's session. We have completed this lesson. For your reference, I have uploaded the URL. Go through it. Notes are also attached along with this. Take it down. A test question paper is also there. Try it yourself. Thank you.